Ann Walker worked as a radio host, a journalist, an editor, and a, com a columnist in Columbus for decades. She is a woman of many firsts, the first woman in broadcast management in, at WLWC-TV in Columbus, the very first female broadcaster to report on the Ohio legislature, and the first black woman from Franklin County given a White House appointment. Who does that? From Columbus, Ohio. And she happens to live in this community. So again, when we're talking about icons, we not only want to capture what it is that they did to help our community, but we want to make sure that we know who they are. We want to know who what their legacy says, because that's the story that's going to remain in our communities for time to come, okay? I love this type of stuff. Ann Walker was born on November 1st, 1923 in Columbus, Ohio. During her early career, she served as a journalist, editor, and columnist for the Ohio Sentinel. In the 1960s, she joined Columbus radio station WVKOAM. I did an interview with uh, 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 MLT, Martin Luther King. And uh, because when he came to Columbus, he wanted to be interviewed by a black person. And none of the radio and television stations had black people. And I worked for the Sentinel. So Channel uh, 6 said, ask if I would come and do the interview with King. Mm -hmm. I said, fine. And, and I, I had to add this because while I didn't know him, I just met him. I knew his wife because his wife and my husband were good friends. They had worked together. And when Linwood and I became engaged and she came over to Columbus because she was going to uh, um, Antioch in Yellow Springs and she came over to Columbus to see if I was good enough to marry him and I thought, well, I said to her, wow. <laughs> I said, you had an opportunity, <laughs> you know, but nevertheless, let's <laughs> We saw the lines in between. <laughs> I love that story. Thank you for that. Oh, tell me, every time she came to Columbus, <laughs> she came to uh, see Mr. Walker. We, we, <laughs> and then, then I'd, or else I'd go down to the hotel to the Neil house where she was staying uh -huh. and listen to her cry the blues about what her husband was doing and not doing while he was being the big civil rights leader. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But uh, we all have our weaknesses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In 1978, Walker was inducted into the Ohio Women's Hall of Fame as the first woman broadcaster to report on the Ohio legislature. But her career accolades would continue beyond the boundaries of Ohio. President Jimmy Carter appointed Walker as special assistant to the director of the White House Public Affairs Office in 1980. Ann B. Walker has gained local, statewide, national, and international recognition for the city of Columbus, the state of Ohio, and for herself. She is the only local journalist, past and present, who has worked in print, radio, and television. And at the present age of 96 years, Mrs. Walker continues to be a shining light and leader in public service. I learned early to accept uh, whatever honors come my way because it isn't just for me, it's for others who maybe aspire to do what I have done. 